Welcome to another edition of Smart Chat here on YouTube.com. And I um, want to do a wrestling video. My question for today, and I want to give you my thoughts, feel free to send me an email at smartchat gmail uh, smarttalk at gmail.com. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. Follow me on Twitter, Smart Chat. Check out my other channel, The Tom Brand One. But I do have a question for you guys, and I want to give you my thoughts. What, in your opinion, is the most bungled, most bungled storyline? In other words, what storyline started with promise and then just bombed? In either execution or just totally mishandled. Uh, mishandled. Now, pick one from pre-2000 and one post-2000. And here are some of my thoughts. Uh, pre-2000, I think one of the biggest dropped balls comes down to, uh, to a tie for me. Uh, I guess they tie in all together. Uh, Bret Hart going to WCW and becoming the outside enforcer for Sting Hogan, which I felt let us down on both ends. I think they could have done, you know, I think it, I think they could have done so much more uh, for Bret, and I think his resume deserved more. Hogan Sting had one of the best builds ever, in my opinion, but the match and the aftermath was a letdown. Post-2000 for me was the purchase of WCW by Vince and the invasion angle that ensued, including um, ECW. We all credit, at least some of us do, Vince for his genius all the time. But here he had all the talent in the entire industry and didn't know what the hell to do with it. Another one that still boggles my mind from pre-2000 is how in the hell was Flair Hogan not the Mania main event back at WrestleMania 8? I know they said... Um, the house show matches weren't great back then, but shit, that was a boatload of cash. Honestly, that Vince just threw down the old crapper. Um, just some of my thoughts. Let me know what you think. Until next time, adios, over and out. Thanks for watching.